This is how the nightmares end. Overpowered. Helpless. A sacrifice to violent gods. I'm sorry. No! No! That one was new. The girl screaming for help. Where the hell did she come from? I need some water. Eighteen months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. Eighteen months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? Hallucinations are getting worse every day. Marcus? Who else? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this. For everything. Ian? I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere, with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user a certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. 
Take the blues if you need them, and gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Out of the ruins of World War II arose another battle. An arms race began with each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. Father always said, only the weak speak to themselves. But I like it. It keeps me focused. Helps me make sense of this mess. Three years I'm missing from my memory. Three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England. I have no idea what went on in that time. But something changed in me. Something I can't explain. My mind is not the same anymore. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier and a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. Who do you turn to when you are lost? Your family. Marcus was smarter than I. He left the service long before me, made his fortune as a doctor. He was there for me, and still is. Since my abduction, I see the world in a different way. Or should I say, I see it in a different rate. If I concentrate, I can see everything in slow motion. It's beautiful to watch, but leaves a splitting headache. Marcus is a well-connected man, but despite his contacts, our investigation into my disappearance has only drawn blanks. We can find no one who shares my story, no clues or pieces that fits the puzzle. But this drug, this nexus, it's the strongest lead we've had so far.
Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But last night was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. I know what you're thinking. What normal person builds a shooting range in their basement? I'm not a normal person. Besides, it was Marcus' idea. He thought it would help with my recovery. Routine is good for a soldier. Marcus believes my powers are a gift, that I should master them. But he doesn't know what it's like to feel the very sanity drained from your mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skill sharp and remember my training, I shouldn't need... It's getting late. I should get some rest before tomorrow. that sound? Is there a bird in the house? I should get some sleep. All right. Concentrate. No nightmares. The woman from my dream last night. She has to mean something. I know it. Maybe if I focus on her, she will come back. She was beautiful. this it's one of 
of those figures again. This one is different. It's not moving. I'll have to find a way out before he wakes up.